Okay, y'all. Uh, first part of the test is going to be this here. It's going to be a matching, and it's going to look like this here. Just don't be don't be afraid to ask questions, as even even though we're filming. Okay. Um, which form is this one? And the reason the formulas are on here is that way you will have them what for the test. Everybody got it? So looking at right here, what what is A? Which one of those is A? General. General form. Okay. So this is the one everybody misses. X equals A is, it's not horizontal, it's vertical. Because, and you might help to actually draw, it might help to do this here on this one. It might actually help to do something like this here. On X equals A, to make a little thing like this here, make a quick little deal like that, right? And then do the following. Okay, so if X equals A, that means like at two, Every answer has two, so it'd be like a, it'd be a line like that. What kind of line did that make? Vertical. A vertical. So that might be the best way to do that one, right? So that that would be vertical, right? Which would be then B, okay? So what then would be Y equals B? Horizontal. A horizontal. And so when Y equals B might be when it equals B, it looks like that, which is a what horizontal line, right? So I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, I'm going to trash that out of there. And I may have to like get my thing going here. There we go, C, horizontal, all right? So, what is Y equals MX plus B? Slope intercept. It is slope intercept. Look, it has a slope and a Y. Intercept. Y intercept, that's why we know it's the what? Slope intercept form. So what does this have? Mm -hmm. A slope. And x1 and y1 indicate what? Points. So it's a point slope form. And then obviously what's left? The slope. And remember we talked about how to find slope is if you had two points. The y's were on top, right? Remember? Y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. So there we go. All right. And